All right, Bobcat fans, we are here. Center court action. Guy Walker, myself, head coach Rusty Walker. This segment sponsored by Roofmasters and your local Halsel Sonic. Coach Walker, basketball season finally here. Right now, how, how's everything been going on the year so far? Well, we're 2-0 and right now, and uh, we have Canton coming in for an, a home game on Friday. Super excited about what these kids are doing so far and how they're working every day in practice. And, Coach, when do, do you still, no matter how, you, whether you've done this a couple of years now or length of time, do you still get excited as the season? <laughs> when I don't get excited anymore, I'm going to get out. You know, I, I try to get excited every day. I try real hard to be the same every day, and um, we pride ourselves on having enthusiasm. We just believe enthusiasm makes the difference, and uh, we try to let that permeate our program, and certainly I have to be the leader on that. Well, tell me a little bit about your roster this year. Uh, what, what can we <clears throat> watching? Expect? Well, I must be crazy because I've got 10 seniors out of 12 guys on the team. I don't know. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss those guys next year, but we're going to enjoy it this year. Um, but seriously, uh, 10 seniors on a team is not normal. And um, really, really proud of all our kids. And then we have two kids that aren't seniors. We have uh, one sophomore, uh, Luke Cheatham, and one, uh, excuse me, a, uh, Luke's a junior now, and Anthony McDermott's a sophomore. And the rest of our guys are seniors. So, Coach, and, and I will turn it over to Guy for a little bit, but as we get in, we're in non-district right now. We're preparing – do you approach this part of the schedule any different than when we get into district? Well, you have quicker turnaround with games because of tournaments and stuff. Sometimes you might play five or six games in a week, uh, depending on if you have a tournament and if you played earlier in the week. So the prep time's a little bit different for each team uh, because of the time factor. But we try to win every game, and uh, we have those kind of competitive kids. And we have the kind of team that really on a given night – uh, we can have a different leading score. So, you know, uh, Taylor uh, Taylor Sheffield uh, had 30 on Tuesday. Um, you know, we could very easily have another kid be the high point this next game. And, and that's, that's a fun group to coach because other teams can't really just sit on one guy and, and shut us down. So well, let's talk a little bit about your offense with you know, Taylor scoring 30 points the other night. Your style of offense, is it, is it run and gun or are you, you, you half court set up? Well, we feel like we, we have to create easy baskets, so we want to run on every possession. And then if we don't have it, we have to show some discipline and run our half-court offense, and we want to share the ball. And so um, anytime you have kids that can really pass it and, and, and are skilled and you can space the floor out and have shooters, um, it, it's really fun to coach. The name of the game is getting it in the paint, and that allows you to have – uh, floor spacing where you can have clear shots on the outside. So that's that's really what we're trying to do, Guy. I know, I know in, the, in, the, in the past, in, in, in our day, there was lots of layups and, and, and fast breaks. Now it's, now it's three-point shots. Is, is well, it's misleading. We have a saying that we like, a phrase that we like to use when we're coaching, and we say that uh, we like threes, but we love layups. And so, you know, layups should be the easiest shot in basketball. The most efficient shot in basketball is a free throw. But to get free throws, you have to take it in the paint. And so the threes are nice, but some nights those aren't going in, and you got to get the paint in to be able to have the defense co to collapse and, and be able to be a tough-minded team. So um, that's what we work on every day offensively. Uh, we just always talk about getting to the rack. That's the basket in uh, basketball terminology there. And um, we, we, you know, we talk about it all the time, and we're lucky to have good shooters right now. Got, you got your roster set this year with 10 seniors, but Coach, tell me about your staff this year that's helping you out. How, what, what, how do, you, do you try to well, take all the Well, we're really, nine? really lucky. We're really lucky because we have two former Bobcat athletes on staff. Uh, we have Blaine Parker, who's coaching our JV, helping on our varsity. We have A.J. Jones, who's um, – uh, a former Bobcat who's our freshman coach that also helps on the varsity. Um, we've got a student teacher right now, Connor Weeks, uh, from uh, uh, a local here that's not a Bobcat. He was a white oak boy, but we're glad to have him helping us. So we just have a lot of uh, a good help right now. And and we have guys that I can, I can lean on a little bit. Um, you know, you don't want to feel like the Lone Ranger as the head coach. I got kids I can count on. I got managers I can count on. We have a good parent group. And we certainly have a good staff. So it's really a, you know, it takes a village type type deal with this team. 
And um, that just keeps with the common idea of, you know, you have to have teamwork. And it's in everything we do. It takes all of us. Let's, um, talk, about, let's talk about Friday night, Friday, night, Friday night we have Ken coming to town. Is that, mm -hmm. is that correct? Let's, tell me a little bit about them. Well, Ken's coming off a big win. Uh, they went to Pine Tree and beat Pine Tree by 15. Well, stinking trick. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I mean, Canton scored 89 points on Pine Tree. So they're going to come in here and, and uh, be a good team. We're going to have to play well. And um, sometimes, you know, it's not it's not just who we start. It's guys we have coming off the bench. We got a guy that's like an energy bunner, ener energy, energizer bunny off the bench. That's O.J. Call, one of the toughest kids I've ever coached. Um, not really starting for us, but plays a ton. Um, DQ Harrison played on the JV last year, has really grown up, um, really, really a skilled kid, really fun to watch. Um, Cameron Glott out of football. I mean, uh, what an athlete. So you don't have to be a starter for us to be a major contributor. Um, we got guys uh, on our bench that, that are constantly positive every day, encouraging other people. Then when they get in, we try to create an atmosphere that everybody's going to cheer for them. It's just, you know, that's what we talk about every day. And those are the kind of things and reasons why I think we can have a big year. It's still going to come down to defensive pressure. It's going to come down to buy-in with our defensive scheme. And then we're good enough offensively that we're going to score. Well, speaking, we're going to be fun to watch. Speaking of what is what is – what do y'all typically run on defense? Y'all well, more we're, of a zone, well, we, man to man. We're a multi. Crap out of everybody. <laughs> we're a multi defensive team. Um, we we switch defenses, and we're based on pressure. And so um, it takes real teamwork to run the kind of defense we do, and um, it's an evolving thing. So we're excited. You can tell, and and uh, we appreciate y'all. Coach, thank you. We will see y'all guys next time. That's been Center Court.